So the first thing we're going to do is get us a 14 day free trial for active campaign. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page where you can claim your free trial. All right. So once you're on this page, let's get signed up for a new active campaign account. Just come over here, type in your email address and click on get started. Then here we have to type in our name and phone number and click on next step. And then we have to answer a couple of questions about our business. So let's just do that. Once you've answered all the questions, just click on next step and here choose a password for your active campaign account. Once that's done, let's click on take me to my account. And this will take us inside of the active campaign dashboard, which is what you're going to see whenever you log in to your active campaign account. So here on the left side, we have the active campaign tools, which you're going to use to create campaigns, build automations, manage contacts and so on. I'm not going to go um, into each of them just right now because throughout the tutorial, I'm going to cover pretty much all of them. Then on the bottom left, we have some settings, which we're going to go into in just a moment. We have your account settings here on the bottom left. And then whenever you want to contact support, if you need help with something, then you just want to go to the bottom right corner where you can see this active campaign logo, click here, and then you can start a chat with the active campaign support, which is really good. So whenever you want to build something custom and you don't know how to do it, just contact support and they will help you out. All right. Now, before we go into how to build campaigns and how to manage your contacts and so on, we need to go into the settings and look at some uh, basic default settings. So let's go to the bottom left and click on settings here. And here in the settings, there's two main things we want to do before we're able to send out email campaigns on active campaign. So let's come over here to advanced and then let's go to email domain verification. Here is where you can type in the email that will be seen as the sender for every email campaign that you send out. For example, my domain is medicsmedia.com. So I want people to see that the email is coming from, let's say, info at medicsmedia.com or simon at medicsmedia.com. So this is the email that I'll use um, to send out my email campaigns. So I'm just going to type in that email here and then I'm going to click on submit. Now we can see an email has been sent to verify this domain. Now we need to go into the inbox of this specific email and confirm that we actually have access to this domain and this email. So you should be getting an email that looks like this, where you can just click on verify. And this will take us back to our active campaign account, where now we can see that our email domain medicsmedia.com is now verified and we can use it to send out emails using active campaign. Now, if you don't already have your own domain like medicsmedia.com, then you can also use your regular email like a Gmail address or a Hotmail, whatever you're using, type that in here and then verify it just the same way as we've done before. Um, however, I do recommend you get your own branded custom domain um, because it increases your deliverability rates for your email campaigns and it also looks a lot more professional for your customers. And now the next thing we want to do is go to addresses here. And then here we have to add a physical business address that will then be visible at the bottom of every email campaign that you send out. This is mandatory. So you're going to need to add an address if you want to be able to send out email campaigns using active campaign. So let's just click on add an address here on the top right. Then just type in your business address. I've just typed in something random and click on add address. And then the last thing we want to also do is go to appearance and then scroll all the way down and make sure to turn off the active campaign branding. If you leave it on, then your email contacts will just randomly see the active campaign logo in your campaigns. And we can actually just turn this off here. And that was already it for the basic setup. So let's go back to 